Hi, I'm Don. Today we're airbrushing and I'll share with you one tip, one airbrushing tip that will help you with your airbrushing, especially if you're a beginner. Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. Airbrushing is fun. It's so fun, it's super easy, and it's the most efficient way to paint a miniature or a model. The airbrush sketching of this Mammoth Factory miniature, 3D printed miniature, took me around less than 30 minutes, and I could paint a whole box of Warhammer in just a couple of hours. Of course, having a very good airbrush setup will make the hobby or airbrushing a lot more fun and easy. But you could do airbrushing even with cheap brushes if you haven't upgraded already. Everybody, every YouTuber will tell you that proper thinning will help you do better airbrushing. I'm also guilty of this as I've like told everyone especially in my older videos that my thinning sauce will help you airbrush better. The usual tip of thinning your paints or the proper thinning of paints for your airbrushing is true in a way and is so boring. <laughs> I am using a 0.2 needle here and the pressure of my air compressor is around 25-ish PSI and I practically did not thin my paints. If you're a beginner in airbrushing, thinning your paints will actually result to more problems. Thinning your paints or over thinning your paints for airbrushing will result to spider webs and it will run all over the place. And if you thin less, you'll clog your airbrush and it won't flow as well as you want. So for beginners, I don't really recommend thinning. Before we move on to my one tip that rules them all, learn that the airbrush is an airbrush. You're practically painting via the airbrush. It's just a tool and most of all, it's not spray can. <laughs> you don't have to like paint it really far from the model. You just need to learn to control the trigger of your airbrush. Now I said earlier, you don't really have to thin your paint, especially if you're just painting the base colors. Also, you do not need to thin your paint, especially if you're doing post shading. You could see in the video, I'm using Game Ink Violet Ink and I did not thin the ink at all. Again, you just need to learn how to like control the trigger and the air pressure with the trigger and you don't have to thin these paints. So we finished the painting of the base colors of this model in less than 30 minutes. You could actually paint it in 10 minutes if you are not recording it on camera. And now the one tip that rules them all. But first, a ton of thanks to all my patrons for making this YouTube channel possible. Also, the longer version of this video is now available at Patreon. So do consider joining Patreon to help me with my art and help me produce more videos like this. So the one tip that rules them all is other than the usual and boring thin your paints for airbrushing is to use air paints. Air paints are Vallejo Premium Paints, Mecha Colors, Game Air, and Model Air Paints. Those were formulated specifically to be airbrush ready. So if you're a beginner, just put a drop of flow improver to help with the tip drying. Also jack up your air compressor pressure to around 25-ish PSI and use air paints. From that starting point, you'll eventually learn to thin and not thin your paints. That's it, Pansit. That's it, we're done. I hope you liked the video. 
do like, comment, subscribe, and consider joining the channel so that you'll be part of our Discord community. Saludos!